Coalition for Energy Reform and Good Governance Advocacy has accused the Melikiari led Nigeria National Petroleum Company, NNPC, of deliberate mischief and corruption, citing hidden charges as the reason behind the recent fuel price increments. According to the coalition, the NNPCL decision to systematically raise the price of premium motor spirit from 568 Naira to 1,075 Naira in a year is a result of poor policies, mismanagement, and alleged corrupt practices. Speaking at a press conference in Abuja, convener of the group, Yakubu Dauda, said that unnecessary charges and taxes have been built into the cost of fuel, intentionally designed to inflate the price of PMS for local consumption. We must question why, under Kiari's leadership, the company has failed to prioritize investment in our refineries and continues to push the narratives that importing fuel is the only viable option. The coalition believes that there are vested interests at play, interests that are determined to maintain the status quo, regardless of the consequence for ordinary Nigerians, and is making Nigerians not to smile the further. Perhaps most figuratively, Kiari's administration has continued to heap the burden of these failed policies on the shoulders of the Nigerian people. The cost of these unnecessary charges and taxes that have been added to the price of PMS are not borne by the NNPCL leadership or the private cabal benefiting from the importation of rackets. They are borne by the average Nigerians. These charges, including unnecessary transportation costs, storage fees and distribution levies, which have no justification other than inflates the price of fuel and creates room for further corruptions. Malekiari leadership of the NNPCL has failed to deliver on its promises to improve the Nigerian petroleum sector. Instead of addressing the core challenges, his administration has exacerbated the problems through a combination of poor policy choices, corruption, and inefficiency. The failure to revive local refineries is perhaps the most glaring example of this incompetence of just one person, our chief executive, Malay Kiari. Nevertheless, we believe that there is still hope for Nigeria's energy sector, but only if swift and decisive action is taken. The 